As the opioid epidemic continues to rise throughout the country, the city of Jacksonville is taking proactive steps to prevent future overdoses. Now your site's Claire Curry joins us live from our Jacksonville studio tonight with much more on those efforts. Claire. Ken, Jacksonville Public Safety is distributing Narcan kits to vulnerable areas like hotels, shelters, and the transit station to try and reduce overdose rates. In 2022, the city of Jacksonville had around 129 emergency room visits due to overdoses. So far, within the first six months of 2023, they've already had 123. We know that we've had an uptick in overdoses, so one of our biggest goals is awareness and education. Obviously, we want to be as preventative as possible, and, and at times we have to be um, intervention-based. With 13% of overdoses occurring in hotels and motels throughout the area. Putting uh, Nalox boxes in hotels and motels, our goal is to reduce overdose fatalities. Initially it was set for city hotels, um, but we want to extend that to all county hotels as well. And providing them with the resources they need. We will do Narcan training there. We will talk about um, effective sanitation of hotel rooms and then also signs of opioid overdose, um, what to do, how to um, use Narcan, um, and then what we need to do after that, how to connect them to resources and get them all the things that they need. They will also be placing kits in the Onsel County Women's Shelter, Onsel Community Outreach, and Jacksonville Station. We want to really impact overdose fatalities. We want to keep providing that opportunity for people to actually be able to enter into treatment and sustain long-term recovery. Jacksonville Public Safety adds that they hope to expand this program to other businesses in the future that want to have Narcan kits readily available. In our Jacksonville studio, Claire Curry, 9 on your side. All right, Claire, thank you.